Hey everybody, Halo RV here with some updates to uh, the late season, I guess you could say, Rockwood Geo Pros here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. As always, if you'd like to see what we have in stock and what we're asking with its equipment package, all that information is available just a phone call away or in the video description. So uh, with, without wasting any additional time. You'll see our, our full video on this in just a minute. This is just to highlight some updates. So this will supersede anything you'll see following. They have updated to the incredible stable step entry system. For those of you not yet aware of this, um, Moride is basically like the, the best engineering company I've ever seen. Uh, if you see the word Moride on it, it, pretty, it, just, it just doesn't fail. It's just bulletproof. Um, to give you an idea, these things are just incredibly stable. They don't bend, they don't buckle. Now, jumping all over this thing, the trailer doesn't rock and roll and the jacks aren't even down. So even if you're just packing the trailer or whether you're at your campsite, it eliminates a lot of that herky-jerkiness. We've got this really cool, um, This first of all, let's start here. Um, the This is a uh, uh, like a, a, a formed aluminum a countertop extension that you can put outside. So if it's rainy overnight, you forget it's out there, who cares? It's not going to hurt anything. It's not wooden. It's not going to swell. And we've got the Coleman Camp Grill here. This works off those little one-pound propane bottles. And obviously, that means it's portable. You can take this anywhere, everywhere you want. The other neat thing with this is that it's a high-output grill. So uh, a normal outside cooktop that hooks into a camper's propane system. What you need to understand is that that is a low-output grill. Oh, hey, Scott. Yes, sir. Can I borrow you, sir? Yep. I couldn't really demonstrate this well. Get on those steps and just like, you know, <laughs> jump a little bit, move around. Well, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, this is Big Scott. He gets the name for obvious reasons because he's, he's got a big heart. Great. So get all up and down on this thing. I mean, the trailer barely moves and uh, Scott's a big fella. I think that, that's testament right there. Thank you, Mr. Scott. You're welcome. So uh, you guys have a question on this, give him a call. He's a product nerd like I am. Um, so, <laughs> woo, the stovetop out here is high output. Uh, the propane connection that hooks into the side of a trailer is a low output. A five mile an hour breeze can blow that out. So in English, if you can blow out the uh, candles on a happy birthday cake, you can blow that out. This requires a 25 mile an hour gust. That's, that's significantly different. Um, stepping, nothing else outside has changed, but inside, whoa, they redid this sucker. And it already looked amazing. Last year they had driftwood tones. This year they just really brightened all this up. It is looking absolutely fantastic. They almost inverted the color palette effectively. So now you've got more lighter than darker. Lighter feels brighter, brighter feels bigger, and bigger feels better. So that's kind of the logic here. Since this is the smallest series of Rockwoods, they wanted it to feel big and spacious and open. Now the, the Murphy bed system, none of that has changed up here. Again, just some color palette changes. Although I do think it's a good idea that they're finally including a sign here. It says, hey, this is a locking Murphy bed. Please don't break it. And as a dealer, I really appreciate that. Um, just more of the same back here, but I thought I'd just go ahead and, and finish the pass through. And then in just a moment here, you'll get to enjoy our full walkthrough video tour. And as always, call us if you have any questions. It's here, ladies and gentlemen, the Geo Pro by Rockwood here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If at any point you like what you see, you'd like to learn more, uh, maybe you have a trade, you want to work out some figures, or you just want to see what this thing costs or whatever, you can give us a call swing by our dealership. You can click the link in the video description that says check for price and availability and you get to see exactly what we have in stock, how it is equipped, what we're asking, and we don't do all these hidden fees like destination and prep charges and inspection fees uh, like all your big box dealerships. We're the largest standalone independent uh, you know, um, store in Michigan and it's because we make fair deals happen every day and we can deliver from coast to coast um, so it doesn't matter. Whatever you need, we can make it happen. So, the 19FD, this, this is a beast. It's effectively uh, a little more sleeker, streamlined version of the one or the 1902 Mini Light. This is a slightly narrow-bodied version of that. The Mini Lights are all a, a full standard body, eight foot wide. The Geo Pros, uh, I hesitate to call it the little brother because it, it's it's very that makes it sound less than it's just very different than the mini light it, it, it appeals to a completely different market it's built for a totally different purpose and actually it's the first time ever really that I've seen that Rockwood changed themselves they've redefined themselves here this is built 
constructed with different materials and different methods from the other rockwoods. That's it's kind of different that way. Um, so that's what I wanted to get in. I really wanted to talk a lot about how this is built because a lot of people don't know. And my experience has been a lot of guys at dealerships who sell these things don't know. That's probably why you're watching a video instead of talking to your local dealer because chances are he doesn't seem to know much other than, boy, it's pretty and look at that price tag. Well, everyone's got a good price and they're all pretty. So uh, 2,910 pounds. It has a low profile AC for a lower exterior height. It has a narrow body for easy towing. You can see around this more easily than a full eight foot wide coach. So who, why, why are they doing this? The idea here is this is someone who's got a limited capacity or they have uh, a little more modest idea of camping. They don't need a luxury fifth wheel. And also these things are just the coolest little base camp. So like if you go national park camping or you go boondocking, this is perfectly built for boondocking. Case in point, tell me another travel trailer that isn't solar prepped guys, that has a solar panel already built on the roof. Let me see if I can back up here enough that maybe you can get a peek at it right there. That's an option you can put on these, but this has a 12 volt charging solar panel built into it. They can accept a 12 volt TV. This thing can run basically everything but the air conditioner in one form or another without park power. It is built for adventure. It's built for getting out and about and having a great time. And it looks sleek, it looks cool. Like I said, they, they literally just broke their own mold. It's awesome. Uh, so And it, uh, it's got that, that really cool three quarter cap on the front. Now you can see it's not just a bubbly cap. This has an aggressively arched interior and exterior roof. It's still laminated. It's still aluminum framed. The way they even built the roof is different. When you laminate a roof, you can arch at most two and a half inches. So how does Rockwood have a five inch arch? Well, they built their roof in two sections, each with a two and a half inch arch and then married them at the top. It's awesome. It's so smart and it's so hard to believe no one else has done this. So you see all these things, all these teardrop type campers out there. And we carry some here at Halitz and they're cute, but you know what? The teardrop shape is inherently inefficient. You can't mount cabinets on a radius teardrop shape. So Rockwood said, what if we made models like that or we made smaller versions of our existing models, but we built them like a normal trailer, but we made them with better materials and made them extremely lightweight. So they're the same weight as these teardrops. But now I have way more storage and more function, more headroom, more everything. Well, they did it. How though? Well, one of the ways they saved a bunch of weight is by going to Asdell, which Rockwood's never done in high quantities before in very specific areas of certain floor plans, they've touched Asdell. So, there's not a uh, Luan uh, on the, the wall panels of these. This, this has uh, Asdell skin below that fiberglass. Asdell's a moisture preventer, basically. It, it's, it's waterproof because it's basically melted pot bottles. Moisture can't soak from the outside to the inside. We have a cutaway sample of an Asdell laminated wall inside that was submerged in water for 60 days and it's basically flawless. The stuff is incredible what it does for your camper. So God forbid you do go to that national park and there's a low hanging branch and it tears that roof skin or something like that. Now you're gonna wanna get it fixed and patched obviously, but you have time to do that. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, it's an insurance claim and we're in trouble. It, it's okay. They even used a different chassis on this for weight reasons. They used the um, Huck bolted aircraft style chassis there, that NXG frame. It's made with high strength, low alloy steel, HSLA. So it's, uh, it's lighter, but stronger, not less expensive. I can definitely find you a less expensive little single axle camper. It's not going to have the stuff this has. It won't. Um, you know, you got your, these beautiful glossy walls. I mean, take, take a look at the sheen and shine on that along with these frameless windows, which you don't ever see on little campers like this. I don't want to say don't ever. I'm sure there's one guy that did it, but not commonly, not mainstream, maybe small niche market manufacturers. So the UV tinted for privacy keeps the interior cooler. If you pull your shades down, that's actually even more effective than dual pane windows and a fifth wheel in terms of our values. And the seals now protected under 
this UV tinted pane so the wind, the weather, the sun can't eat it. We have a full outside shower with hot and cold water, not just a little cold water sprayer port. And if you don't care about all this stuff, then just take the video track bar and skip ahead to the inside. But some people care about this, some don't. I try to appeal to a little bit to everybody. Um, we also have our handy little black tank flush. We've got all of our hookups in one smart location back here. Aluminum wheels, of course. I mean, if they went frameless windows, they're going to go aluminum wheels. Little detail stuff too, like your stovetop hoods still vents outside, so it still exhausts heat. You know, they didn't cut corners. LED lights, not just on the tails, but markers as well. That's still not industry standard, even in luxury fifth wheels. And here they're doing it on the tiniest little thing they've ever built in the travel trailer. Backup camera ready. Uh, we can add a backup camera onto an existing RV for the exact same price you can get it from the manufacturer. So if you want that, we don't have it, whatever. We can make that happen. That's, that's, that's easy. Um, notice too, just like the bigger Rockwoods, they still have the Max Air cover over the bigger bathroom fans so that you can get some awesome rainy day airflow. Now, like I said, these are good for... You know, like if you like biking trails, you're like kayaking or whatnot. One of the hiccups of doing that is where are you going to keep your keys? Well, that's, you know, you don't think about that. But if you're biking and you drop your keys, good luck. You're, you're in trouble. Well, now we don't have that problem because this has a keyless entry door pad. So that'll fire your deadbolt for you so you can leave the keys at the base camp. Now we've, uh, you can add an outside grill package to these and that will mount right on this side rail right here. And uh, it connects that uh, quick connect down there. Uh, we've got about the biggest awning uh, they could put on this. They couldn't put a much bigger one due to the position of baggage doors and whatnot. Um, so it has LED lights outside. You can tilt it. We've still got an easy double step. Now look down here. They put the spare tire centralized in the RV. That is for load equalization purposes to help with stability going down the road. Also notice that we have a handy sewer hose caddy down here. You don't have a whole lot of outside storage in this model. Re one of the reasons a lot of people like our videos here at Halid RV is because we tell the good with the bad with the ugly. Facts is facts, my friends. Well, um, Murphy bed models are great, but they often lack an outside storage. This is a normal example of that. It's no worse than anything else. But where else are you going to get a sofa and a dinette and a bed in a 19-foot camper? And the answer is you don't. Um, you know, unless you're in a hybrid, but this, this isn't soft-sided. Bigger entry handle, just like the bigger rock was too, and still has the friction hinged entry door. This has the new Wi-Fi Ranger system on it. That's, uh, you know, that's that's a whole different topic, but basically the idea there is um, it can uh, help you uh, like marry up to data services like phone cell services, um, uh, park Wi-Fi so that you, you have a more centralized connection point for like phones and tablets. All LED lights, notice your whole cabin's on one switch, which is really uncommon, and they're using a lot of lights in here. Rockwood's always been very good about lights and windows. Lights and windows are the two most expensive things, actually, in RV construction. Talk to anybody at a factory level, and they'll confirm that if you don't believe me. Um, if you want to make an RV less expensive, you can build the same floor plan with less lights and windows, but it's going to feel like you're crawling in a hole. Now, we put the low-profile, big air conditioner on this. So the AC does not stick up further than the TV antenna or that max air fan back there. That's why we put a low pro on this. Gives you maximum cooling power. Now, keep in mind, this is all laminated, you know. So here's, like, here's what I mean by this. So if you guys have a scalding hot cup of coffee, and you, you get, like, one of those only several millimeter thick foam coffee cups, you pour scalding hot coffee in it, you can tell it's warm in your hand, but it doesn't burn, does it? Well, how about a multi-inch thick roof and wall system? That's what you have here. So this is going to, it's, it's noticeably cooler in here than outside just because it's repelling all the heat. Now, check this out. Like a diesel pusher. The little engine that could here even has slow-rise shades instead of uh, pleated blinds. How cool is that? How cool is that? I, I forgot it had those. When I when I was looking at the spec sheet, I forgot it had those. The TV antenna doesn't have to crank up or down. It's directional only. Now, up front here, we've got the newly updated Murphy bed system with the self-locking mechanism. Not that Rockwood ever had a history of it. A couple other brands did, but Rockwood put a new lock on the Murphy bed system. And they've actually added a couple of these easy little handles here. By the way, there's some storage under that little jackknife sofa. That's why the technical name for these is a jackknife storage sofa. USB and what we used to call cigarette lighter outlets. What do you, by the way, on YouTube, guys, what do we call that? 
Is it just a 12 volt plug now? I mean, what's it called? It's a, cause we don't, we can't call it a cigarette lighter anymore cause we don't want to encourage the youth to smoke. Um, so household outlets over here. When you're ready to turn your living space into a bedroom, ba bam That is all she wrote, my friends. Now we've got a normal walk around bed. We can get in and out. Now the advantage of the Rockwood Murphy bed system, the way that you can strap this down is maybe you need to straighten up the sheets, but you don't have to make the bed every morning every night you don't have to deal with this now the new lock systems right over here you simply pull to release then lift and that's all there is to it it's i mean even with just one hand it's better with two hands i prefer to do it with two but you can do it with one obviously now trick with these jackknives is you lift now even with one hand i'll hold with my hip and then grab the back and pull and it will just bang drop down into place now no slides so we have a carpetless easy clean interior and i love the light, dark contrast in here. It looks and feels big. Now, remember that big five-inch barreled ceiling in here, that dual laminated sectioned roof? It really opens up this little camper. I mean, this is not the biggest trailer in the world, but I'm a big guy, and I don't feel claustrophobic in here. Now, like always, Rockwood has always done a better job of giving us more, better, easier access storage, like self-supporting strutted doors. Um, pocket screwed styles, not stapled or glued. Uh, you don't need an oven in this little bitty thing. You know, you're, this is made for camping off the beaten path. You're probably not gonna cook inside a whole lot. So instead you get this giant storage. You don't have a lot of room for a ton of drawers, but they did what they could where they could. Notice it's all plywood boxed and whatnot, little sponge drawer. And you need a little extra kick counter space, there you have it. Now they could have gone to a cheaper plastic sink they could have gone to cheaper blinds. They could have gone a lot of cheaper things. They sure didn't, though. Instead, they went stainless. Instead, they recessed the stovetop to give you some prep space. I mean, they did a lot of stuff they didn't have to in here. Um, very smart stacking of the appliances over here. So we got our converter on the bottom. We've got our five cubic foot uh, fridge with a small freezer inside of it in there. And uh, the microwave on top as we flip around. This is where you can hook up a normal TV or a 12 volt TV above the back seat of that dinette. That panel right there, by the way, that's your inverter panel from the solar, uh, um, well, that's your inverter monitor control center from the uh, um, uh, solar panel, basically. Right when you walk in the door, you've got access to all your, your patio awning, gas and electric water heater, all that is uh, right here in one spot. And they even used a different type of tabletop material. It's incredibly light. I almost went um, backside over tea kettle picking that thing up because I expected it to be heavy and it wasn't. Uh, easy, easy access to the dinette storage on this side. Now, there is no dinette storage access on that side because there's something under it like an appliance or uh, I'm not sure what, maybe uh, a water heater, furnace or pump maybe is under there. But they did everything they could where they could. This can fold down into like a, I call it like a grandkid sleeper. You're not gonna sleep adults on this dinette, but in the event that a grandbaby comes along, you got a place for him. Let me close up some doors here. Boom, done. You know what I did like too? This has a great rear bathroom. Little camper, I expected, little bathroom. But, you know, you've got a nice little spot right there for some extra toilet paper and whatnot. You've got plenty of leg room in front of the foot flush toilet. But then you look over here, and I didn't expect shelves. I expected when I opened this door, to just find uh, a big, open, empty closet, maybe a hanging rod. And I feel bad, I should have known better. I should have known Rockwood would do more, like they always do, and they gave us shelf storage. There's that bigger fan I was telling you about, that thing will pull a six mile an hour breeze through the camper. Now, if you open the front windows on each side of the bed up here, and then you turn that fan on, because this bathroom door is slotted, you'll get a six mile an hour breeze in here, pulling fresh air in, and that's 12 volt. So your solar panel will charge your battery so that at night you can run this all night and sleep great. How cool is that? This is a great easy area to see the arch on the ceiling right here. Um, and we have, you know, a, a full bathroom. It's not like a wet bath where the toilet and the shower are the same thing. Even the full big size skylight. They did everything here. They did so much more than they had to. They went above and beyond what anyone else is doing in a little class like this. And then they took it up another notch. And they did it without asking. They just did it because it's awesome. And that's what this thing is. It's just awesome. So, if you like an awesome product, get an awesome deal at an awesome dealership and meet some awesome people, come to Awesome Coldwater, Michigan.
where we only do everything at Haylet RV. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, and everything else in between. We usually keep 400 to 500 RVs in stock all the time. We're a huge volume dealer. We'll sell every one of those RVs uh, two to three times a year easily, if not more so. So, whatever you're looking for, we've got it. And we make deals happen, guys. So, give us a call. All it takes is the opportunity. We'll get you camping. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone. Congratulations, everybody.